everybody, and good morning. Uh, I apologize for the noise. We've got a lot going on in here today, but I really quickly just wanted to, one, show off this really big ass sheet of MagnaCut. Uh, it's a lot bigger than what our normal sheets are. Uh, you can see there, normally this uh, sort of steel comes in around 24 by 36 inches. Uh, this is six and a half feet tall, so this is really neat for us. But also, I guess the main thrust of this video, I wanted to share some things just for anybody who might be looking for a water jet, plasma table, anything like that to handle materials like this. Uh, with this bigger sheet of steel, we can see already that this is really going to change our nest and what our overall yield can be on a sheet. Uh, with these larger sheets, we have more opportunities to nest things differently, more efficiently, so that we can reduce our waste. Um, at the time we got this water jet, this is what we could afford, but it has a five foot four inch by five foot four inch work envelope. Uh, with the benefit of hindsight, now that we've been a manufacturing company, I would have gone to a bigger, at least a longer table size on our water jet. So things like this, I think will drive our next water jet purchase, uh, just so that we can realize more efficiency, longer run times, which again is efficiency, and just get the most out of the technologies and the materials. These are very, very expensive materials, especially now. So if we look at this sheet of MagnaCut here, uh, this is about as efficiently as we could nest things on the GSO 5.1. Uh, we looked at tucking the tips in a little bit, but it didn't really net us enough extra material along the side of the sheet to do anything useful. So uh, yeah, this is right about where we're at. This sheet still weighs 10 and a half pounds. These materials are $25 a pound and this is a lot of waste. This is 250, 300 bucks in just scrap now. Uh, we paid for it and we're just not gonna be able to really realize anything out of it. Uh, we will take a look and see if maybe we can make some bottle openers and swag or something just to utilize some of the, the little tidbits. But uh, so far we haven't come up with much of anything useful. So if you put this against the larger sheet, you can see here, you know, we might have had an opportunity to rotate these parts and get a more efficient yield, and we just couldn't do that with a standard size sheet. So this is really interesting looking that, you know, Niagara can do these longer sheets. I think they can do out to eight or 10 feet long. So that's definitely gonna drive our next purchase for a water jet so that we can get those longer run times, more efficient nests, and just have less waste. Uh, it's, it's really about reducing waste here in the shop and controlling some of that uh, unnecessary overhead just in being reckless with things. Uh, so in summary, if your shop is needing a water jet, a plasma table, laser cutter, whatever, uh, just really, really think hard about, you know, if you have the space, uh, what can you afford and what might that bring as far as opportunities for work? Uh, I know that if we had a larger water jet table, we could do more things like this. Right now, we're going to have to cut this up in a weird way uh, to be able to do it all and it's gonna take more setup time. But if we had a larger table, we could do this all in one run and just have a nice long run time on this. So uh, yeah, I guess that's it for now. I hope everyone's having a great day and have a great weekend. Talk to you again soon.